In previous video, I shared uh, the tutorial on running Flux on MacBook. Flux texture to image model is a powerful AI system that can generate uh, impressive images. However, one major drawback is that uh, it uh, has a really large model size. It makes it uh, really slow on most of the MacBooks, unless you want to spend a fortune on those new shiny MacBook with large unified RAM. In today's video, I'm going to share a new method to reduce the model size of the Flux text to image model. This will enable the average MacBook to run the model locally. So one of the ways to use a method called a quantization, we have one of the methods is to use a file format called a GGUF. So this can bring down the size significantly. If we go to the download page, as you can see, there are multiple different uh, files with the file name they have dash Q2 3428. So basically, the bigger the quantization number, the larger size the file will be. And of course, you may have a question about uh, the quality of the generation. Luckily, the authors have compared uh, them and uh, they concluded that uh, they are not uh, a significant uh, reduce. So basically, the quality is almost uh, very similar. In today's video, I want to use the Q4.0, this one. So I will provide uh, the download link in my video description. So you can download that. So this one, will, I will use that. Make sure you have that. Once you download that, you can store that into your Comfy UI directory. You go to the models. You go to the UNet, so this one, UNet, and uh, you make sure that uh, it's stored here. So, so this one is uh, Chanel. Chanel requires only four steps. If you need a, a better quality, which requires 20 step, you can download the dev version. I will also provide uh, the download link in the description. The workflow for Comfy UI are the same for both. So you, you are able to switch them. So, so make sure that you have that in hand. And uh, another thing I want to point out is uh, you will also need uh, some additional files. They are from the Comfy UI example page. So, so, so you make sure that you have the clip save tensors file in this page. You can directly click uh, the download link and get them. So you will also need uh, the VAE file. So these are also needed. And uh, they will go to your Comfy UI models directory. There is a clip, so this one. So as you can see, I have both the FP16 and FP8 version. So it's about uh, twice big. So it's the clip. And then there is the VAE. Go scroll down to the VAE one, and uh, you have the AE dot safe tensors. Because of the method use a custom node, you would need to install the node. So I will show you how to install that. So you go to your Comfy UI root directory, and you will need to copy this uh, GitHub repo. You go to the page, you go to the code, you click the URL, copy that, and uh, you go back to your terminal. You will need to change your directory to the custom nodes and uh, get clone that. So once it's, it's done, press enter. So once it's done, you will see that you have the comfy UI dash GGUF, and you can go into that. So because you would need to install several dependency, you open the requirements.txt and you can see that one of the dependency is called GGUF. Most likely, you will need to install that. So you would need to go to pip install 
and the GGUF. Press enter to confirm. So make sure that you already have that. And then, all right, so we, we go back to the root directory and we should be able to start the comfy UI without issue. One thing I want to mention is that uh, for the GGUF, for now, you most likely will need uh, to add this uh, extra piece of argument. So make sure that you can also have that if you encounter any issue. All right, so press enter, we can start our comfy UI, web UI. So let's uh, go back to our web browser, go to the comfy UI, and uh, I already have the workflow loaded. So, so here I will give you a link to download that. And uh, one of the thing is the, the custom node we just installed. It's called uh, the GGUF UNet loader. So you make sure that you have that. You select uh, Chanel Q4. And uh, for the dual clip, you make sure that you have the clips. The first one and the second one, and uh, you have your VAE, all right. And uh, then for the prompt, you can use your imagination, what, uh, what you like to draw to enter them. Wearing yellow hat. And uh, for the Chanel model, it only requires four steps. So that's uh, really good. And uh, for the CFG, it's uh, one. So make sure everything looks uh, Right, and then we can start the workflow. Press the Q prompt, or you can use the shortcut Control plus Enter. One benefit of using the GGUF is it requires less RAM. For the RAM part, we can see that on my dashboard there is a Python 3.10, and currently it uses around 15 gigabytes of RAM. We see that the image has been generated and looks quite nice. We do see that the Python process uses around 18 gigabytes of RAM, and then it dropped. So I feel like if you have a MacBook with not many RAM, it can definitely help you. I think you definitely should give it a try. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to my membership. The YouTube, there is a membership that you can support. I will upload several member exclusive videos if you are interested. Thanks for your support. Goodbye.